In this module, we'll talk about the roles and types of media. I've just mentioned different types of ways in which the president has garnered public support through mass media in module 1.5.1. Mass media can be split into broadcast media, radio, television, and the internet, and print media, magazines, journals, newspapers. Congress, the president, and federal agencies all have their own websites to publicize their news, and today anyone can be a news journalist because of the advent of weblogs or blogs. Those under the age of 35 today tend to get their news from the internet and social media, whereas those over the age of 50 tend to get their news from television. And very few people are attentive policy elites. Attentive policy elites are those that follow the political news closely. Citizens tend to seek out media that reinforce rather than challenge their existing ideological views. Certain broadcast print media tend to appeal to conservatives, such as Fox News, The National Review, and Forbes, while others tend to appear, appeal to liberals like MSNBC, The Daily Beast, and Politico. Today, a typical news channel will have more commentary about the news from pundits, also called talking heads, than hard news itself. About three quarters of Americans claim to get their news from TV. Studies have shown, however, that those that get their news from TV are not well informed about politics and policy matters. Why are they not well informed? Because TV is really part of the for-profit media. It's a business intended to make money. Since most people prefer entertainment to the news, infotainment is what TV is centered on. A story may or may not be covered by a TV station based on its newsworthiness, its ability to generate interest and additional coverage. So this is called market-driven journalism. A dramatized, sensationalistic human interest story will get more viewers than a dry story based on only fact after fact, as will stories about violence, which, give cre which gives credence to the phrase, if it bleeds, it leads. So TV stations are dependent on advertisements to make money. A headline about violence will hook a viewer to watch most of the program and the ads, and the story highlighted in the headline won't then appear until sometime near the end of the show. Candidates also look for free advertising from the media by creating media events, or events so large the media will just have to cover it. Candidates create sound bites, which are short phrases to sum up ideas, and talking points, that are meant to convey larger policies by simplifying them into short, digestible phrases or sentences that a general public can easily understand. The work of the news media differs from public relations, which is communications carried out to improve the image of companies, organizations, or candidates for office. Public relations is not a neutral information form. While journalists write stories to inform the public, a public relations spokesperson is paid to help an individual or an organization get positive press. Public relations materials normally appear as press releases or paid advertisements in newspapers and other media outlets. Some less reputable publications, however, they publish paid articles under the news banner, blurring the line between journalism and public relations. The U.S. government believes that the airwaves are public and created the Federal Communications Commission, the FCC, to hold the media accountable, to regulate them, and to prevent any one network from gaining too much power. Certain things are not allowed on the public news channels that are allowed on cable networks, like pornography, for example. In addition to the agenda-setting role the media arguably plays, as discussed in 1.5.1, the role of the media is to inform the public about what government is doing and hold the government and politicians accountable to the public in return. The media, as well as the public, can request more transparency from government by requesting documents through the 1966 Freedom of Information Act. This is called foia -ing documents, F-O-I-A, and it can be a long process. Something foia may not be received by the person foia it for years. The government is required to release the information, though, unless this particular information meets one of nine exemptions. Some of these exemptions are based on national security, personnel rights, or trade secrets. Continue to review the information and go over the questions and watch the video as many times as you need to.